My name is Vic, and this is my voice one day on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice three weeks on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice two months on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice three months on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice four months on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice five months on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice six months on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice seven months on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice eight months on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice nine months on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice ten months on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice eleven months on T. My name is Vic, and this is my voice one year on T. Hello, Internet. My name is Vic. It's been a while. I know. I was more focused on the physical changes of my body than I was like the mental attributes until about five months in. So when I started hormones, it was such a relief. But for me, it was a distraction for a while. So for the first four months, I would spend hours just like in the mirror to try and find something new, different. I was so consumed in that. But once four months hit, I kind of, it kind of started like setting in that that was my routine. So then, after about four months in, five months, I was really having some like mental discovery, progression, a lot of internal changes, self-realization, self-acceptance, a lot of that was going on. And then at six months on testosterone, I remember specifically because I was, I got sick. Then a lot of personal things started happening around six months in May. And a lot of my focus shifted. That was when I missed a couple shots. And that was when I first started doing my own shots. So around six months, everything started kind of to spiral in my personal life, not my transition. These past couple months have been like a blur. I know that like the latest changes that I've noticed have been my facial hair. And I mean, you can see it now. Beforehand, you couldn't see it um, as much, but now you can see it. Like it's, it's getting darker. Another change that I've really been noticing recently is my hands have gotten wider. I busted a blood vessel. I'm not gonna say how, because it wasn't exactly legal. But, there it is. My veins in my hands have always been prominent, but they've gotten more prominent. My veins in my arms... See my veins? Probably not. This one is the more prominent one. When I'm picking something up, all these veins pop out of my arm. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Also, like hair, in general, everywhere. I'm hairy. I'm a very hairy person. I have hair on my back, my ass, um, my arms, my legs, my freaking stomach. I mean, it's everywhere. I don't really have chest hair yet, though. Yes, I do. Just kidding. <laughs> a lot of old feelings are resurfacing. Uh, intrusive thoughts, suicidal thoughts, depression. But this time around, they're not over dysphoria. They're over emotions. So one of the things I've learned on hormones, which was a very, a very obvious misconception. You don't become an emotionless dick. You just process differently. Before hormones, I thought with my emotions. I was very impulsive. Whatever emotion I was feeling, I would feel it very strongly, and I would use it as a reason to, like, explode or emote very strongly and overwhelmingly. It's not about proving to somebody that I'm a man anymore because I know I'm a man. I identify as a man. Therefore, I am one. I'm currently learning to become okay with my own company. I'm becoming more vocal. I'm telling people how I feel straight up now. I don't really try and sugarcoat anything anymore. My voice has gotten very deep. I'm still learning how to be me without the influence of other people. I'm learning what I'm comfortable with, what I'm not comfortable with, what kind of boundaries to set. I'm still learning all that. My muscle mass, I'm building a lot more muscle mass. I'm taking up more space. <laughs> I'm getting wider, broader. When I look back at old pictures of myself, I'm like, where are my shoulders at? You know what I'm saying? Or like, my head looks really small. I still have a small head, but my face is like, it's the jawline. It's more like, defined. My chest, my cup size has gone, like, drastically down. I don't have a menstrual cycle anymore. Um, I haven't had one of those since December of last year. I haven't really changed anywhere else physically. But that's been my year. Let's be real. It's been a year. A lot's happened. I'm not the same person I was in the beginning of 2019. 
I did start hormones in 2018, but it was November, November to November. I am not the same person I was at all. I don't even look the same. I don't sound the same, and I don't think the same or feel the same. A lot has changed in such a short amount of time. A year is not that long. Especially the older I've gotten, the more I've noticed years kind of just fly by. 